I loves me some one degree mm, of Chunky B. Now, I just have to make a comment about Chunky B. Have you ever seen him looking so good? that includes actress Lainey Kazan, comedian Chunky B, and Playboy TV host Julie Strain. Chunky? Uh, what was the question? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, how are you? How are you? Hey, check it out, people. We're coming in kind of uh, haphazard because, one, we're semi-nervous because we got a garage full of babes, and two... <laughs> Um, you're listening and watching to One Degree of Chunky B on ChunkyB.TV in the garage of love. My name is Chunky B. <sighs> Blow out <sighs> and come in. I'm not doing that. Come in, come into the garage of love. I'm not doing that. Make yourself comfortable. I'll just blow out. Okay. <laughs> I'll just come in. <laughs> May I begin with the calmness? Can I begin with the calmness that is the love of the garage of love? Yes, Chunky. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to say one thing. If you're getting your beverage on and drink responsibly, you've got to sip on what we love is um, Venice Duck. Venice Duck. Hang on. Stay there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Venice Duck is um, a brew that if you want to get your quack on, you drink the duck. It is um, it's stimulating. And, and, it, and believe it or not, this is the first beverage of beer that actually makes you smarter. It's our, be it's our beverage of choice. And well, believe it or not, good. pro good. athletes around the world are drinking it before yeah. their workouts. It's like a human growth hormone, Andy. <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> you, they that drink that before well. their workout? So, what kind of workout yes, is that? Yes. Uh, uh, hold, hold, hold on, ladies. Beer, hold on. Baby. We're not ready to reveal. Yeah, oh, you, okay. yes. You're not even on camera yeah, yet. Yeah, just wait. we got to do a little business before we get to pleasure. Mm. What, 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 what? I think somebody hears me knocking. Okay. Oh, my God. And We got we got DJ Chuck. Chunky tonight, I love it. <laughs> I, check it out. You know something? Sometimes when you come out of the sun and you're just getting away from the beach and you're thinking, wow, I need to moisturize. I'll tell you what, people. Don't do not cheat yourself. Asta Glow has been with us since the very beginning of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get, do that, Gary. Gary Adler, I'm being serious about our sponsors. Okay? I know, I am too. I like the product. Okay. I use it at home. Ask the sport. I use it. Yes, you just got that. <laughs> People, these are serious sponsors. And uh, dude, if you're not gonna be, if you're not gonna be serious, <laughs> Ask the Glow, ladies and gentlemen, it actually moisturizes. <laughs> what? That's the best, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ask the Glow. When you want to get smooth skin, when you want to look young, you want to be refreshed. And ladies and gentlemen, the Astigo has these little capsules that moisturizes from within. Because oh if you God. want to stay young, it's got to start from within. You know what? You're right, Chunky. And check this out. We do have a spray. We do have um, uh, and all the kinds suppository. <laughs> Astigo for all your moisturizing needs. Ladies and gentlemen, please find your ass to glow and get your glow going. You okay, know, I'm ass to glowing right now. Do not cheat yourself on the glow. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for ass to glow. We love you. Thank you for being so good with us. God, I'm crying, man. All right, stand by, stand by, yeah. in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great day it is to be alive. You're in the garage of love, and I want to let you know something. This is one you're gonna want to um, tell your friends about. Yeah, and watch. A lot of people just listen. We say cameras. on this one. Yes, you watch. And the gentleman that just uh, said uh, word to the wise is the man himself, Gary Adler, the executive producer of Love, Thanks, right Chucky. here in the garage of Love. Thank you. You know what? I appreciate yeah. that. And I just want to say hi to the folks in Raleigh, North Carolina, on WKRP. WKRP. You know something? Yeah. I am tired of packing and unpacking. Very, up uh, and dial, up and down the dial I go. Yeah. You know what I was just doing right there? I was talking the theme song. <laughs> That's how much I'm tuned into 
WKRP in Cincinnati. But guess what? We've got the glory that is Raleigh, North Carolina, ladies and gentlemen, 101.9. It's where to be. And if you're fundraising, please, wait a second. You are fundraising. Yeah. We want to go stream. We want to stream live, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say for the folks at home, skip the Amazon button this month yeah. and go donate to WKRP. Yes. They're trying to raise funds so they can get a streaming machine, I think, Andy. Yeah. Streaming it's a streaming machine. machine. Yeah. It is a machine that costs $3,500. Oh, and, and when times are tough all Wait. over, we've got to pull together as a community That's right. and maximize the love and pleasure that is one degree of Chunky Babe. Thank you, Chunky um, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give your undivided attention to the man that pushes buttons and twist my knob. He goes by the name of Andy Davey. Andy! Andy! The manimal Andy Davey. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about the tears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Please. And let's give a little, give it up to the... Right. Ladies and gentlemen, please always give some love to the Wizard of the Knobs, Travis Spencer, that is Travis. just constantly... Generous and He's gentle, the desert, kind yeah. and uh, considerate. <laughs> and by the way, we do have some technology where we can do phoners now. So maybe uh, in the very near future, we'll get uh, the Wizard of the Knobs just to call. Oh, in. that would be oh, fantastic! You mean we got a speaker? <laughs> we, uh, is that what you're saying? It's a streaming. We streaming have a speaker. we have a green tooth. We got speaker. a big speaker. Speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh my hey, God. you guys, We've you gone. guys, I heard about these ladies. Um, oh, my gosh. Uh, they've been slowly coming on to the scene. Well, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. They've been around for a while. <laughs> it's an overnight success story. <laughs> yeah. I think there's no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Babs Wade and Saba Moore. Yes. Set. Welcome to the Garage Thank of you. Love. And these ladies right here that you're seeing um, not only are absolutely adorable, they yeah. are the world-famous classic bikini divas. Yes, I know. I've, uh, I, 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 I got stuck on the YouTube channel today. Oh. You got yeah. stuck? What, I got what stuck. made you stuck? Mean that. I, you know, the buttons were stuck. <laughs> well, oh, I'm not yeah. sure how that happened. I don't know how it happened. Clean up an aisle two. I, Clean I, up an aisle two. <laughs> Listen. Were you watching our show? Of course. Like oh. vertically. Now, wait a minute, girls. Oh. Can I just say something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're all professionals here, right, Andy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, season four, episode <laughs> two. Yeah. You guys got to turn the camera that way. <laughs> Come on. Let's yeah. get it season going, four, people. Two. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You've been doing it for. Which was season four, episode two? It was one when you guys were in your bikinis. Do you remember that one, Chunk? Yeah, they both had two pieces on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> yes, okay. You, know, you remember that one? We're in our bikinis. We're, All right, you know what? Let's get to know these girls. Okay, we're, the, we're the, woman, bikinis the woman on, uh, I guess, on, the, on, the, on your screen, on to the left. Screen left. This yeah, one. screen left, screen house left. right. That would be Babs Wade. <laughs> and look at her. Yes. Yeah. Mm, Gorgeous. Mm, you are Yes, it's amazing what's going it on. Only here. You, you're. I think I you're very you close to making uh, Gary uh, feel heterosexual. <laughs> you got that tingle, don't you? That I might car. have some chum. <laughs> I might have a left chum. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what the heteros call yeah, it, right? No, Andy? No. Chump? No, that's, no, that's not chump. chump. Oh, it's chump. No, it's With chub. Okay, oh, it's give your chub. give your undivided attention chub. to, to chub the. That's what you throw overboard to get fish and air. All right, let's right. let's meet the other uh, amazing okay, and, uh, looking person. Uh, uh, yes. say, say hello uh, to the fine people uh, around the hello, world. Hello, fine people around the world. <laughs> now, let me get this straight. You guys, and we'll, I want to know some details before we... Uh, how, how old are both of you first? Can we, yeah, wait a second, hold on. A gentleman, ne <laughs> a never, a gentleman never asked... Who said age? anything about being a gentleman? But how much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? Who said anything about that? He said we don't ask age. How much do you weigh? We're gentlemen here. I weigh four pounds, six ounces. No. That's so, actually, and that's soaking I weighed, wet. I weighed now nine pounds six ounces when I was born, and now I weigh <laughs> nine pounds six ounces. Uh. No, I, wait, I'll tell you. Okay, age. We'll answer you. I know you will because you're proud of I it. Can, yeah. we Very proud. You should be proud of Tell it. Tell them yeah. how old okay. you are, Beth. I'm 61. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And I'm you must moisturize. You look fantastic. I do? Yes. yes. Do, yeah. And I moisturize twice as much because I'm 73. Oh, my 73. gosh. Come on. Yes. Andy, uh, would really? you do her? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Right now? And yeah, <laughs> right now. This is a demonstration <laughs> show. I need, I need some time. I need a little time. No, I'm going. honestly, I, like, give me your honest opinion. Like, would, would you have sex with her? You know, I mean, that's would too I? awkward. Too awkward. No, it's not, that's man. Awkward. That's an obvious question. I would. Why, I'm just why, saying why, right why? now. And you're gay. I love Chunky it. B. No. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll put my hand up. I'm count. Count I'll give me it a go. in. Well, you know what I'm saying? You know like, what? count me in. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I know you're married. It. You already dropped the H bomb. Yes, yeah. but 
we don't do it to have sex. I mean, it helps, but uh, <laughs> we do it because we really want to help people to know that it's never, you're never too old okay, you and do it's what? never you, too you, late. We haven't even gotten that far. What do you do? Do what? You say we do it for what? What are we, we drink. doing? Well, that's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Yeah, what are we're, we doing? We're here? health, fitness, and anti-aging experts, and we have gotten in shape uh, just starting four years ago. I started when I was 68, and Bab started when she was 57, and you wow. can tell them how high they're. <laughs> you can, well, we're well, on video. I can is over here. <laughs> yes, go ahead. I'm over here. Tell them, tell them how we got started in this field. Well, how we got started is actually. butt in. Okay, like she usually does. So we kind of like work as a team. Like wow, that. that sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Easy, easy. <laughs> easy peasy, go. Yeah, we're funny. Um, so a few years ago, I, I didn't realize I had kind of like packed on the pounds mm. and decided I, would, I really needed to lose some weight. <laughs> and uh, it kind of like snuck up on me because we kind of wore the same clothes at one time. And then she had me wearing, she had me trying a pair of pants. And it was kind of like, oh, well, she said, larger. can I try on your pants? And I said, are you kidding? I think you're kind of like, here, try these I think, I think you look a little like junky. Sorry. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Keep me out of it. Keep me out of it. <laughs> You've been here 10 minutes. I mean, you're wow. already on the host. What is... I know. I'm a crazy. sexy guy. <laughs> it happened. So All right. Let's hear it. on me, and I didn't realize I, had, I really had some weight to lose. So I ended up losing weight, and I thought I was going to look like a magazine cover just from that, and I didn't because I had, like, loose skin, and it was, like, quite it's shocking. Slapping. <laughs> no. <laughs> slapping in the breeze. Okay. But, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, I just kept on going, and I was, like, learning everything I could health and fitness-wise from reading health and fitness magazines. And it was my goal to, uh, to compete. I just, I thought, you know what? I'll tell everybody this is what I'm going to do. I want to compete in a bikini competition. <laughs> I thought she was nuts. She thought I was crazy, but I'm like, what? And you guys are friends already? <laughs> We've been best We've friends We've been for best like friends for 20, 20 years. years. Oh, my yeah. gosh. We, we met at Women in Film. Yeah, we sure did. Oh, nice. And, uh, so, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that, that's the point where we were at. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. And I'm going to tell everybody because then I'll be accountable. So I gave myself, I told everybody like 1st of January and I gave myself until November 5th when the competition was to actually get ready for it. And lo and behold, you were sitting on the front row. She took pictures of me. I couldn't believe it. Really? Yeah, I, couldn't I couldn't believe the pictures what she were me. Done. It was like, oh my God, look what she did. I, I really, I did That's it. Terrific. And I came in first place in my age division. What? And I was hooked. I'm yeah. like... Okay, I'm doing this. Now, is this, um, do you, can I ask a question? Yes, please. Do you have to, no. do, you, do you have to do a routine of some kind? Or no, what is have... it? Tell, tell me about the, the competition. Yeah, what goes down? The oh, competition. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. We weren't done telling you our story. Yet. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And then we'll tell you the comment. But, no, because Andy, I don't mind sorry. interjecting that Listen, real Listen, I'll just be can... over here if you need yeah, me. And I'll be over no. here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll, we'll tell you when. No. Okay. Yes, we, we just have to act like. We're on stage. Yes, that's it. We pose. Well, we pose. We have to do like a tea walk, what they call it. <laughs> and tea then walk. what and they judge you on how. Walk. And then you do like all these like poses, but there's a lot of freedom in it when you're in bikini. So, right. you know, but you kind of hit your marks and all that. And you're really playing to the judges because they're like yes. judging you, of course. Mm -hmm. And when and she was doing it, bikini was something new. It, it was new. It's, it was it's new. kind of it's new in the bodybuilding fitness. category. It's in the body you mean building. it had yes. been just one pieces up until then? No, no. It had been. Is that what It had been figure. Muscle, yes. Oh, right. oh so physique. now the category Physi is yes. the bikini. Bikini. bikini category. Yeah, yeah. Okay. bodybuilding competition. Yeah, because yeah. you girls look great. You don't Thank look you. like We're overly. Not. We're not. You know the girls who are overly muscled? Yeah, yeah. Th that's not a physique. turn on to me and Andy. No, right. no. That's, Personally. Well, that's, yeah. That's, okay. that's different. Yeah. yeah. So not like, a turn on to me either. No. Yeah, no. no I didn't, I didn't so want to be that. Tone, I didn't do that. But it's body basically shape toned, and, symmetrical. You can yeah. wear a bikini. You can have some fun with it. You have kind of like the deep, the diva attitude when, right. you're, when you're on the stage. So that's what it was. And it was a new category when I started. It had kind of ba basically gotten uh, more into the industry like within like the two years prior to when I first did my first competition. So you go to a bodybuilding, I, I looked for like the perfect bodybuilding association to do a competition with and this one was like natural that I found. You yeah. couldn't take anything. They test us. Yeah. Oh, that's really? they drug it's test? a pee yeah. and a little, yeah. Because uh, I'd say this right now, we would probably <coughs> fail. You and I would fail. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would well, fail for sure. You would fail after your you weekend. Go. You would fail for sure. Yeah. You would absolutely fail. I'm failing right now. Well, I'm, <laughs> well, I'm drinking my wine, but 
that's not the worst yeah, thing. Yeah. But, um, so that's fantastic. Yeah, I like now that. You travel? So I like the attitude. Is it, is it a travel thing? You have to go. We do travel. We do. It depends for on where we do competitions competition. just for itself? We do. Yeah. We do. How and big we, is your trophy case at this point? Oh, at this point, we need trophy room. I have, oh, my God. I, we have a lot. I'm actually I non-de- <laughs> non-defeated. Undefeated. Oh, oh, yeah, that go, too. Let me go back into the story, how <laughs> yes, she even got go into it. Okay. We're still talking about our first wow. competition. My very first one, when I when that happened and you took pictures of one thing and the next, I was like, you know what? I'm so hooked on this. I know I'm going to be doing this, and it's going to keep me motivated, and that's the real reason why I do it. But I said, you need to do this, too, because right. it's like, you know, we're best friends, and it's like she had, she had and that's of a, when cute, I said, a cute small body, but I can't say. I mean, she was like loose on the bone. I, I'm not, well, uh, no, I'll you tell you. Loose on the bone. No, no, wait. No, I heard that like, about Chunky like, once. <laughs> that's the name I used to. That's the name I used to yeah. dance under. So what happened was, she wasn't like I was at that time. I was sixty-eight. Like I was sixty-eight, and I was thin. I was always thin, but my yeah. butt was like starting to yeah, droop. My boobs were looking down at, so this, the, at the ground. So at sixty-eight, you can actually see a tightening and a progression. Oh heck yeah! yeah. Really? Oh look, see, I've lost. All, I feel like I've lost all hope. No, no, and I no. Know you so have. listen, no, no, this no, is no, what happened. All right, all right. I I had created. Uh, I created a workout yeah. called Auto before Size all of this, before all had. of this, and it was just a fun thing you do in your car, not but not while you're driving, because you'll sue me. <laughs> well, the way she but, drives, I don't know, she kind of does it anyway, but come on. So <laughs> I thought, oh, if I do this, I'll get some credibility uh-huh. in that field. So in I fact, thought, that was my line to convince uh, her to do it. Yeah, so I did yes. it. Because but I she was, it was full of, of judgment, though I thought the women were just kind of maybe not that bright. I mean, but look all at me. The, yeah. I mean, I'm like right? super intelligent. <laughs> Well, yeah. Oh, yes. We were but, thinking the same thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, was, I figured you I was would be only how one. You and I could go to a library later and look at the <laughs> hit the Dewey Decimal I System. Know you know what I'm saying? Dewey Open Dewey a few <laughs> books. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, long story short, long story she short, I did it with her, and I, I took first place oh in my, my division. Gosh. And we did it for a year before we realized that we really didn't know what the hell we were doing, yeah. okay? It was just luck. And then we started yeah. studying. And trial and error. Like and babeness. And babeness. And to complete babe awesomeness. Yeah. We didn't really but understand the But we weren't the complete si- babe off. Uh, we we no. weren't. We didn't understand the we science became. Of, of the way we were eating and different things. But people kept saying, gosh, you look great and you're competing. And like, how are you doing it? And we're like, you know, we better uh, kind of really sure. learn this for real. Right. So okay. then we actually went and became yeah. licensed and well, oh, um, yeah. certified. <laughs> oh yeah, we <laughs> became certified. My husband <laughs> thinks I'm certifiable like anyway. <laughs> we saw that one coming. But I had training, to get that in because they cut it out of the R extra segment. That's true. Anyway, have, yes, we have a really. <laughs> oh, we won't cut anything out. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's no uh, editing here, people. TV we're too we're, we're, we're too lazy to edit. Yeah, so actually. So then, I, then we started really <laughs> figuring out how to eat. Yes, and, we did. We and really what educated to, ourselves. And we used every... Oh, we so... We different things. Before we go on, because we met at Women in Film, yes. I said, all right, if we're going to do this, yes. we're going to document it. Yeah, right. that's So what we happened. did... We did a YouTube show from the minute we started, yes. showing everybody we what we were doing uh, and how. Where, where can people find that on YouTube? Yeah, Do you still yeah. have that up in the Classic Bikini Divas that's on it. YouTube. Yeah. Classic Bikini yes. Divas. And it's on our website, ClassicBikiniDivas.com. Ooh. And wow. In stereo. Our radio yes. show. And we LA also have Talk LA Talk Radio. Talk, radio. talk about that. What's, what's going on with the radio show? And can we be uh, out of shape guests? Oh. Yes, we love. Of course, yeah. you can. Yeah. We can actually. I tell, we're helping can I tell you now. a little known fact about Chunky B? <laughs> I Please think do. you can. Chunky B was a warm up comedian for many, many years, there including you know. on The Doctors. Okay, uh, and he oh, was bigger than he is now on The Doctors. Wow. And Jillian, Jillian uh, Michaels, hoo ha. Uh-huh. Yep. Did a uh, intervention, a, an intervention on Chunky. Wow, yeah. really? He ran the freaking marathon. I did twenty six point two about oh, yeah. four right. years ago. Yeah, You're but fabulous. I, I th- since then had put on pounds due to the fact that one, I quit drinking, and I, I get my best friends are Ben and Jerry's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they used yeah. to be my best friends. Yeah, so yeah, I'm still yeah. in a very. Uh, I'm, we do it's three. We don't hang out anymore. Both Jerry's, by the way. Yeah, both Jerry's. Both Jerry's. Both Jerry's. <laughs> I like Cherry Garcia. Yeah. But yes. I, um, yes, I, uh, I have dabbled in the field of getting in shape, hmm. and it's coming to a, a theater near me. Yes. You know, for example, my wife said, "Come on, Junkie, you need to get in shape," and I was like, "Honey, round is a shape." Whoa! Oh, hey. oh, oh what? You know. I slipped in a joke. <laughs> I slipped in a joke. Henny Youngman just hey, showed up. Oh, please, please. 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 You know, but you know what? 
it's it, but, for us it became a yeah, habitual. It became, it became well. It I'm did. also a, a metaphysical habit. practitioner, oh. so I work with the mind mind that body connection. Scary. That sounds a little scary. To you. I can scare you even though. worse. You just, you <laughs> just scare me a little we bit. Can, we can we can really use it on you. Mind. You're an East Coast woman, aren't you? Right. Am I what? Are you an East Coaster? Oh, I don't know. Originally. How We're, can you tell? <laughs> I mean, every, when I get excited, sometimes I talk like this, but yeah, no, yeah. not anymore. Yeah, I'm from New York. What part? The Bronx. All right. All and right, Whitestone. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Come on, so you come with come from some money. That's cool. <laughs> the Bronx. <laughs> I, can, uh, I, can, I, can, I, I uh, can I just ask a quick question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. even have to ever ask. Okay, yeah. Sita. Right. No, Saba. Saba. That's your question. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't a question. Uh, How old were you in 1958? Uh, <laughs> uh, I know how old I was. You were about I was 15. 15. Yeah. Tell, tell us about 1958, yeah. growing up. That's a yeah, what were you possibly... Doing? When did you lose your virginity? I know uh, Chunky wanted to ask. Oh, yeah, my Chunky God. Right you there. really want to know? Chunky Wait a second. No, Chunky, why are you story. doing it? These are two classy ladies. I know, but you, Chunky said. That was Chunky's idea. Chunky yeah. said. Yeah. Chunky said ask. I got the text. Okay. 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 You know, something so, not that is brought up. Let's all right, here we go. You're not drinking your wine. I, all right. I was a mouth. <laughs> here. Uh, wait. I'll tell you. I'll tell yeah. you. Okay. Talk to us. Well, well I'm 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 empty, so okay. What can oh, I do? Don't I don't drink. Okay. Next. All right. What were you doing? I was... I was yeah. wild. Thank you, my love. Yeah. I was wild and I was fun and I was That's what I funny because I did stand up comedy too. Me too. But wow. I used to do it to get out of trouble. Okay. But not at 15. So, yes. 15. Wow. I, I've actually been in the business since I was three. I was three. a dancer when I was three. But Let's talk about your teen years and when you right. lost your virginity. Uh, uh, here's you, when I lost yeah, my come virginity. On, dude. All right. I. Um, Fell in love mm-hmm. when I was 19. First time I ever had sex, 19. I was pregnant with my daughter. Stop it. Oh, First my. You, you lost your virginity and got pregnant? Got pregnant and... Were you married? That's like winning no. the lottery twice. Just ask <laughs> I, I mean, it could have been your wedding night. I, I didn't know. even know That's I was question. pregnant. Yeah. I went, no, no. Actually, it, we were... Um, my parents went to Las Vegas, mm-hmm. and um, mm-hmm. we had the whole house to ourselves. And it, that was the first time, and I was like, oh, no, I was terrified. At 19... <laughs> Because I was just a mouth. Everybody, I was. Well, I you, was you had another hole. A mouth. No, I never used it. But <laughs> I. <laughs> wait. So oh, wait. I got Ooh. pregnant. You never used your mouth. And you then have. and I told him. I said, Oh my God, I'm pregnant. He said, Well, let's get married. I went, Oh, okay. And wow. that's oh, wow. yeah. And you're still married. Mm, well. <laughs> well, she's on her third husband. I, yeah, she's still married. I was a widow. I was a widow twice. I was a widow when I was, was going to say twice. This is a Dateline story. I guarantee. No, I was no, twenty. No, no. I was twenty-two, yeah, and I was a widow with two children. Yeah. And then wow. uh, I was with my second husband, who was in the music industry. Which to be with him for twenty-five years is weird. But he actually <laughs> unexpectedly died after <laughs> not feeling good. Two weeks later, he was gone. You can draw and, your own conclusion. Yeah, I'm but you know to... what? He walked into my house. I saw that show on HBO. The <laughs> day we that? met. He right. never Final. left for 25 years. Crazy. Yeah. Isn't that wow. wow. That's and now awesome. I'm married to Jeff Doucette, who's a wonderful actor who I was in a, a film with. I starred in a film with him called Can I Do It Till I Need Glasses? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know that film? <laughs> like Look what happened to us. It was Look Robin. what happened to us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got, did it. You did yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, oh uh, it was Robin Williams' first film, but he oh. had one line in it. <laughs> and my husband and I started. Well, oh, that's the next fantastic. question, which would be obvious, yeah. and, and, and there's no way that I cannot ask it. When you do make love, do you like to do it regular or in the vagina? <laughs> you know what? Excellent question. <laughs> No, yeah. listen, that's an excellent question. Right. That's an excellent right. question. It's yeah, almost like a medical the, question. That's an excellent it's excellent. almost like a medical question. Andy, that is an excellent question. I felt like a doctor yeah. asking that. You should. What's, Next what's time you ask that question, put gloves on. Yeah, put yes, the gloves sir. on. Turn your head and cough. I don't know, you that, reminds babies me, at home. that reminds me of the joke. You know, the girl who said to her mother, I want <laughs> I, I, re- I forgot the joke. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. She said, I want to get. It happens. I love when she acts like a real blonde. She had a lot of fluoride as a child. She said, whatever you do, she was just getting married. Whatever you do, don't turn over. <laughs> and so six months later, she comes to her mother and she says, I don't know. I just can't get pregnant. And she said, well, she said, tell me what's going on. And she told her mother, she said, oh, you better turn over. But that's a joke. That, that was, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Riveting. Let's write that one down. Riveting. You learned that from Chunky. I, I, we're talking about it. And like there went joke. my stand-up career. <laughs> no. Uh. <But> yeah. <laughs> okay.
Okay, all right. So, um, That's a valid question. So okay. you were married to a, uh, yeah. a record producer? What did you say? He was a, a songwriter and, and a producer. So you grew up in the music industry in like the 70s? Like that's when you were married in the 80s, 70s no. and 80s? Yeah. Wow, out here? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Were you a he, flower he child at all? Was too, were you too uh, wow. you you know past what? that? Do you have two to Guns N' Roses? Everybody around me was... I, I actually know them. What did you ask me? I have three tickets to Guns N' Roses. <laughs> I, I and there's three of you. I, no, I I knew them. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I knew a lot of people back then, also right. because my one of my daughters, one of were you doing like cocaine husband, and smoking pot? And I stuff? did nothing. Oh my god, a lot I of sex. <laughs> Tons of sex. My history. husband, <laughs> however, was. <laughs> well, all those drug dealer. <laughs> all those parties. Yeah, my husband was the drug dealer. <laughs> you heard it here first, people. <laughs> you heard it here first. Uh, oh my it's god. okay. No one's listening. Oh no. my god. god. Tell us everything. No Tell us everything. Audience. So on, you know something. <laughs> I'm intrigued with your um, your backstory, just because you're in the record I business. You're in LA, story. and I'm thinking right at the back. The same thing that every listener and watcher orgies. Tell us about your like the um, cocaine <laughs> orgies, <laughs> orgies of the yeah. 80s and I, 70s and tubs? 80s. You didn't no, tell about. I never. I was she innocent. Got married in the nude. Oh yeah, that. You know, oh, there yeah, we go. I forgot. Yeah, I, I forgot. You out here. First thought, who didn't? Who didn't? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Who didn't? You just yes, said any trend there. Did you get married in the nude on a, on a rooftop when the sun was go- coming up and the moon was going down? Did you no. sunscreen? You know what you no. should have some? It was the Beverly Hill Co- Hills Courthouse. Yeah. It was in South Pasadena, <laughs> actually. Saying, why does one get married naked? Well, actually, two, I guess. Because what did you get? I was poor and I didn't have clothes. Yeah, I was going to say, too cheap to go buy a wedding dress. No, I just. We used to hang out naked around the pool all the time. Nice. And it was like just... Did you have guests? Just three. And just the three. kids wanted to kill me. Three and guests? One of them. Because I said, yeah, you got to be naked. Uh, yeah, the minister was well, really yeah. a minister. The guy that married us was, was wearing naked. a bow tie. <laughs> oh, my God. Was he a Chippendales dancer? <laughs> no, he was... An actor. Okay. <laughs> Can't so, tell you who it was. You sure Andy, you let me ask if, if Andy, if you were delivering a marriage as the pastor, would you worry about shrinkage? <laughs> <laughs> it was a cold morning. Only, only if I was naked. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you have to be naked because they're all naked. Right. We didn't care. And, yeah, oh, I don't sure. think you do but you know, yeah, I don't think that's yeah. I would be worried like you're in front of everybody and you're just standing there. And you got to be nervous. And I'm a grower, not a shower, so I'm already <laughs> worried. Well, you know what I'm he saying? Was worse if you were growing. He was wearing a bow tie. <laughs> he was wearing a bow tie. She didn't say where he was wearing the bow tie. But we didn't oh, that's care. true. Good that's point. right. Good point. Ooh, clever. Good point. Yeah. yeah, that's why they yeah. call him the manimal. <laughs> okay, so you did. Uh, you were poolside naked in uh, someplace in Los Angeles. South you had, Pass. You had, you had a kid. Or, this was your second? A husband, uh-huh. and uh, your child was there. Uh, children, four, two, four of your four kids, children. and there's Mama up there at the altar, naked, mm-hmm. and uh, getting married. Yeah. Okay. All and, right. And Daddy another typical too. Day in now, how much money do you think your children spend on therapy right now? Yeah. <laughs> My children are so healthy. They are. Oh, no, I I've got the best. I don't know kids. if I should mention who my kids are. <laughs> yeah, you got wait a second. This is the garage of love. This is where you open up. Yeah. This, this is, is uh, where you open let. Up. Yes. Tell this is where flowers she bloom. Has the most Boom. amazing yes. children. Thanks, bud. No, Thank thanks you. To no, thanks to so me. <laughs> no, well, I was always very... And by the way, Babs, by the way, Babs we're getting to you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you carry yeah. on. I was, always, I was always very honest. I mean, I, on, my, my eldest daughter, Sydney, I shouldn't have said your name. Sorry. Oh, just She's not my mother. Yeah. Which is she would always say to me, Mom, really? Mm. You know. And then my son, who was just worse than I was... We have so much fun together. We yeah. can't. I mean, I can't even say the things we talk about. And yeah. um, you've got well, amazing kids. You, you know something? You're holding a lot of information for an interview. Like yeah, everything she right. asks, like, oh god, I wish I can tell you. I wish. Yes. I well, because if he were talking to me, you'd hear it. But yeah. he's not here, Do so not I don't. So say let's it. talk about something else then. Okay, my yeah. kids are great. I love them. Yeah, there you Fabulous. go. All right, all right, They're wonderful. Great. They're Next. Right. Next, Next question is Babs, um, if that's your real name. Go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> Bad. It is. Yeah. You're not on me yet. You're not done with her. Okay. Oh, no. You something. And yeah. I know Let's you guys are fitness. I know you're uh, smart ladies. Uh, you're driven. Uh, you're adorable. But when part of being healthy is the great act of orgasms. And I was. <laughs> we were just talking about that. Burn, you can burn right calories. Before the show. Yes. 
I do, instead of going to the gym, Why I give myself a tug. Why do you think I'm so thin? Ah. Right. <laughs> a tug, a tug or two. A tug or two. You know. A tug or two. A tug or two. I'm burning <laughs> calories. Go I'm feeling fit. I feel satisfied. Yeah. And it's nap time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you, you just mentioned that that's why you're so skinny. A lady at 73, I think this is safe to say. I, I want to hear a question. I, I don't know where you're going, is, but I can't wait to get there. Is the, 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 great, act, the great act of orgasm... <laughs> Is that a daily? Is, is that in, how often? Is daily? That in, is that in your schedule? No, I'm tired, honey. I got, <laughs> is that in your when 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 did it stop being in your schedule, or is it still in your schedule? That's the question. When did it yeah. stop? It, it's it's still it's in my schedule when it's there. I mean, we don't schedule it. Sometimes we have to because my husband's busy. But uh, yeah. And the reason I ask this is because they're anti-aging, right? Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. So, I'm not anti-coming. So, I would. Oh, hey. <laughs> There yeah. you have it. Thank you. Yes, come on in. Make yourself at home. No, no. I'm like, you know, I, I yeah. So you technically, for the folks at home that want this information, you cannot answer like maybe seven orgasms a week. Do I have uh, seven a year? I don't think you're out of bounds here. I don't think you're out of bounds. I think I'm in the medical yeah, questioning of I think growing you're within, old. Within medical? the lines of podcast reason. Yes. Not podcast reason. Yeah, yeah. let's hear it. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> could, you, could you put a number on that or uh, Could leave I put it a number on it? Yeah. Um, I, How about the last time you had an orgasm? What time is it? <laughs> oh, there we go. Ah. She's from the Bronx. You can tell that yeah, right there. Comedian's coming right when back. When I met you, oh, darling. No. Oh, hey. Uh, oh. The last time? Uh, the, it was, what t- what's today? Wednesday? Yeah, today's Wednesday. Uh, a few days ago. All awesome. right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Can we, can That's we healthy. Quickly, it is healthy. Can we quickly? And tomorrow. <laughs> Tell the folks at home who's sitting on the couch tonight. It's just yes, an I'm so glad. Person. Speaking of yeah. orgasms, I've got a philosophy. very good friend. Speaking of orgasms. Yeah. Speaking of orgasms. Okay, <laughs> yes. And, and Andy, can you see the very lovely Robin tap? Yeah. Feel free to talk for okay. the next okay. remainder of this one. Okay. If I could come yeah. that way, I wouldn't need talcum powder. Okay. But what? You know. Hello. Look at that. Okay, I Robin is not supposed to use Rob- talcum powder. Robin is off mic right now, but I want to introduce. Robin is kind of um, the Gary of the Garage of Love. She would be um, one. Yeah. Uh, helping you guys pitch shows. Yes. And, and she's organizing and executive producing yes. um, your next, j- w- the journey that you're on now. Yes. And that's Quest to be on television. Yes. And um, promoting good health yes. and uh, a daily orgasm. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's safe to say. That is helpful. From, from what I understand, Maybe that's what they're should. talking about. Right. Yeah. And Robin Weekly. Ta- Robin Tab. <laughs> Robin Tab has been a friend of mine for years, and she too. is a legendary, uh, a legendary family yeah. from the great community of Venice. Yeah. And one thing that I'm proud of, that knowing her, her grandfather was actually on the very first police force in Venice, in, in, in uh, Venice Beach, California. Yes. Yeah. Am I accurate on that? <laughs> and with, there's, no, an, close, there's another. Uh, I just made that up. <laughs> there's another interesting fact about her. You told me earlier. Can you repeat that? Yes. Now, Robin is this a phenomenal an, uh, artist in uh, singing and songwriting. Yes. Right. Fabulous. And, yes. you know, and I think I'm pretty Fantastic. accurate. Were you not um, the legendary songs on television when I was growing up? Capitol Hill? I'm just a bill on Capitol Hill? Or? School of Rock? I didn't write them. But no. I, you sang on it. I sang Come right, on, right. stop it right yeah. now. So she, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. but Robert, when, on this podcast, you wrote it, you, yeah. you sang it. <laughs> and that's how and, we're going to promote yeah, it. And, sure. and your first oh, concert, right yeah. your first concert was at uh, Saber's um, reception, and you sang it naked. Yeah, Red <laughs> Rocks Amphitheater. That's right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was there. She was there. Yeah. Yeah. She was there. So it's, it's always, uh, first of all, it's always great to see Robin. And Love second of Robin. all, she is the woman on the couch. Yeah, woman she's the first the woman on the couch. First woman, yes. Yeah. First yeah, woman on the right. couch. Yeah. Oh Dress. my God! Yeah. So Normally yeah. we just have guys it's, it, because the, yeah. the actually the bit is the you man on the couch. You have to stay though, Rob. They, you know, afterwards. Yeah. I stay on the stay couch. Stay on the couch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we have to cross it off yeah. up there for a moment. I like right. It. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I say we, uh, you know, slap okay. Babs around a little bit. Yeah. Hey, yeah hey, let's hey, slap hey, Babs. Are we out of time now? Yeah. No. Well, Babs. Babs. You know the question. Oh, there's so much time left. You have no idea. Oh, I got to Oh, wait. Book. Here we go. Yeah, this let's get a plug. Book. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here. The book we wrote together. Really close. Can you see oh, that? Yeah, there you oh, go. Yeah. Really close. That works. That works. Really close. Nice. Okay, and this is the back. This and on the back, if only we knew then what we know now. Yes. So awesome. Awesome. to an awesome. ageless you. Yes, ageless. That's, That's it. so cool. That's it. Little, but you know it's so much. Okay. We, we joke Chock around. Full of 
But, but <laughs> how impressive is this? It's extremely impressive, and I'm honored that these ladies said yes yeah. to this interview. Yeah, yeah. And I know we're being sophomore because you know, you know what that is? That's a sign of being nervous I'm around nervous. beautiful women. There's hot yeah. chicks here, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually a sausage fest. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> and we do a lot of penis talk. We and do. You do something we shouldn't stop so now. Do What's yeah. your favorite? Yeah, so do we, right? my, I don't think my we first have. Question to you is, what do you oh, enjoy no. most about the penis? <laughs> I think you know. What? No, seriously, that is a legit, almost Oprah question. I like yeah. it when it's I think he's out of bounds here. I, I no, that, that, is, that, that was semi. That was semi, Doctor Drew. Oh, you mean <laughs> it was just a semi, Doctor Drew? What do I enjoy <laughs> about the penis? Uh, make sure you talk into the mic. Can I? Uh, well, yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, you don't have to answer that, but it'd be awesome if you did. Hey you guys, Chunky B. One degree of Chunky B in a garage of love, and you know if you want to get your quack on, you go to Venice Duck. And I'm not even kidding. This is a good beer. Tell your friends, don't be afraid to get your quack on. Dude, that's actually it's this good. is actually a really good yeah, beer. It's fucking a great beer. <laughs> You're so lucky. Oh, wait, oh shit, I'm still recording. Hey you guys, music provided by Play Up Music. That's playupmusic.com. Classic Bikini Divas, and you are tuned in to One Degree of Chunky B. Well, I'm going to be awesome because I can answer a question mm. like that. Mm-hmm. What do I enjoy most about the penis? Okay, that's a very wide, broad question. In my case, it is, yes. Okay. <laughs> in my case, it is. <laughs> Uh, I'm Irish and I uh, used to drink a lot, so no, not, had nothing to do with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please, no, please finish. Well, He's lying. I, I think that there's beauty in that. I think that, um, you know, it, it, there's plenty that can be done with that. I think that they're, they can be absolutely beautiful, and I'm glad that you guys have one. Nice. Or two. He has two. <laughs> <In Andy's. laughs> yeah. Double pecker. Yeah. That's why we call him the manimal. That's <laughs> right. Diplomatic. That's right. Yeah. Double pecker. I thought you were familiar. Okay, you know something? I love the fact that you guys are letting us um, be uh, dudes. Yeah. But we're we do know, dudes. and I want to let you know, we do know the, uh, the reason you're here. And we, and, and you guys, uh, from, and, and Raleigh. Tell me. If, if, <laughs> I kind of forgot why. And you guys listening on the radio, we are um, uh, ch- chatting with uh, two beautiful, beautiful women. And they are from the classic <laughs> Bikini Divas. And uh, Babs Wade and uh, Saba Moore do Set, do set, do set. do set. That's yeah. nice. That's yeah. nice. And these uh, these women travel around the country <laughs> in uh, bikini contests in their age bracket and are extremely victorious. Yes, yes. we, have we wouldn't victorious. have it any other way. Yeah. We wouldn't. Yeah. No. We wouldn't. Oh, by no, the way, their executive producer is not so bad herself. You know what Robin I'm saying? Robin yes. is a hot tag. Oh my yes, god. Yes, yes. There's nothing I like better than giving Robin a hug in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Andy, you know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. Thank you. You know what? Robin was hot before. Before we were, yeah, uh, well, not that uh, much. She's before. always yeah. been hot. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so Babs, let's, yes. let's 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 stay focused, and oh. we do have a. Um, stay focused. <laughs> yeah, we turned off while you focused. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, you want a beer? <laughs> yes. Focus. You, I hardly know yes. us. Yes, I yes, really? I'll take one too. Can you ask um, a few questions? Yes, I'm going. I'm, I'm, <laughs> and Babs, um, yes. the reason why I'm so interested in asking you questions yes. is um, you're single, right? Well. I mean, More you may have a boyfriend, but you More you know you, you don't have the H word. The night is early. The night is early. But I, but I don't have which word. The H a husband. Word. Oh, that. Oh, that, the H word. I'm yeah. Like, H. What is that? Herpes. Not currently. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the funniest thing I've heard you say all night. Good one. Good one. That is no, hilarious. No, I do not have, the, have H the H word. word. Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord! Currently, I do not have a husband. Are you seeing somebody? Um, By the way, uh, there's a clinic in Sunland. Currently. <laughs> <laughs> no one will know you. Good to know. That's, that is funny. No <laughs> Tell them I'll pass that along. They sent yes. us. Yes, what? Yes. Um, are you yes. seeing somebody uh, on a regular basis besides your therapist? More or less. <laughs> I'm her therapist. I, I yeah. love these questions. Oh, yeah, yeah, Watch yeah, me it, dodge are you them. Not currently, but I will be at some point. I'm a husband. <laughs> <laughs> See how we work I together. Found one, <laughs> Husbands are yeah. good. I've had a couple yeah. myself. Oh, you have? Okay. Um, 
Chuckie Let me ask you, and this is kind of an embarrassing situation. <laughs> Only if you make it one. <laughs> yeah. When you're in competition. Uh, yes. And you see your uh, oh, don't a competitor. Do it. Don't go see, there. Say whatever hey, you want to say. I want to let you know on. this is so close to a Dr. Drew situation. And, <laughs> Dr. Drew. <laughs> and, and I want to let you know, I'm only asking these. It's not for me. I'm representing. It's the, for our lovely um, audience. The, the, the men of America want to know if okay. women think this. Okay, okay. Oh, I was okay. trying. I, I was okay. trying to I be the governor, no. but you know, I'll let it. I'll let yeah. this one when, go. When when the girls are on stage, yeah, and they're looking at the competition, mm -hmm. do you ever say, "Holy shit, look at that camel toe"? Yeah. Oh right. Yes. Or right. What if someone has a giant bush? Yeah. I mean, do you ever <laughs> see a Lord, pube never... sticking out the sun? Actually, no, no, because women are very, you know, like very. You're groomed. a waxer, right? Well, have you been to Brazil? <laughs> <laughs> yes and yes. Okay. Um, yes, and I think that most people are, you know, perfectly groomed and ready to be competing. But what about the big thing? Like, do you ever look? Is that a testicle? <laughs> do you... oh. No, have no, no. That's legit because you know every guy. <laughs> you know what? I am. Uh, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> Is there a medical term for camel toe? Oh, I should know. I, <laughs> it's moose knuckless, I think. You know, it's, you know, it's interesting. I guess. I guess I see the overall. You know, we see most people at the at, at, at about a distance of three feet. Right. I've I've read. Do you ever think? Damn, I can park that, my bike true. in that thing. <laughs> No, that's why never She needs to go to a playground. The kids would be like, hey, where's your bike in her vagina? Number one, she's across my mind. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I usually focus on the overall beauty Sorry. and handsomeness of the person before me and their personality, so I'm not focused in on one but you skate, little thing. Right? You skate. Yeah. That's what they're saying, right? Sometimes you say, oh, they I can get a motorcycle in there. I don't know if they myself. wax. They no. wax. What do you do? Is it waxing well, the norm or the shaving? Shave, what do you like, do? Whatever. Shave. shave trim. Now, I manscape, Chunk. You yeah, do? I, I yeah. Let's yeah. say I'm like hairy as a Sasquatch here. Right. Bald as a porpoise. Right. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bald, nice to know. Bald as a porpoise. Do you know? Why, but thank you. Yeah. And you know something? You must be excited because this time of year, the family usually gather around and yeah. shave your back. That's the time of year. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. It's, yeah. Uh, it's usually the three-day weekend. <laughs> we take the three-day weekend. Yeah. You need all that time to make it happen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I use Nair. The kids sign yeah. up. Who can go first? I yeah, mean, right. It starts way back in January. <laughs> It's, it's like a car. It's, it's, a it's a festival. It's a festival of hair. You it should be a podcast. Right places, oh my gosh! You know why You're is it in the wrong places? That's yeah. right. So, um, okay, you know it happens. <laughs> no, let me ask. Um, you've got you girls have done some um, surgery. No, surgery? I have never done. I'm all natural mm -hmm. everywhere. I had my appendix out. Is I had my appendix out in my first. That's what I'm talking that's about. That's my first you? surgery never... when I was 14. I've had no? my share. Had my tonsils out. Nothing. I, you know, tonsils. I still have my tonsils. Really? Yeah. But I've, I'm. No I'm, Botox, I'm, nothing? No one's no. doing all that? Yeah. Me? You know what? Yeah. I, we talk about this on our show. I've, I've Good, had a little hear. Botox, but honestly, I never even did you it. You both until look I was, gorgeous. Until yeah. I was Thank 56. You. It only lasts about three or four months. It's a temporary thing. Right. Um, it's like every now and again when I feel like I need it, I, I know my, what the battles are on my own personal face. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that you can overdo it or you'll start looking distorted. So sure. It's like you like really this. have to the cut cat back. Woman. The catwoman. You know, you don't want to right. do that, like blow up your lips or like do whatever. But, you know, I see the value of maybe putting a little filler right yeah. here or having a little Botox in your neck, you know, it's like trying to avoid But I have never surgery. used anything. She's never done anything. Her skin Amazing. looks better than it's ever looked. We use ingredients. <laughs> but there's a lot of things I do. I'm like really into skin tightening. I have at-home devices. I have like a whole like spot Watch it. in my house. <laughs> They'll touch that like that's this. Cool. Well, that's okay. I'm I have at-home devices too. <laughs> but but I do have start. a lot of at-home. What? Pull start. Can the very lovely Babs finish a sentence? Sorry, yes. man. Oh, Look, she's okay. trying so hard. I, Eventually, you'll run out of time, and uh, you'll never know. I want to ask about the dating scene right now because really she's single. So I want to yeah. know, like, who's right. taking you out? Who's me? Taking, who's <laughs> taking you out? Wait a second. That's a great busy. question. Yeah. He's almost in the medical field. Is semi in the medical field? Right. Has there ever been a sensation where um you um desired the vagina? <laughs> Have, Have you, I ever is desired this, the this is, No, this is a legit medical question. Okay, it is a legit medical question. Actually, no. But, you know, I certainly have no qualms or objections or moral objections to people right. that do. I think that's a beautiful, wonderful thing. I want you it to answer this to be my as honest as possible. And do not lie. Yeah. And the people of America not, deserve to hear this. Have you been really. in a three-way with another lady and a gentleman? Yes, actually, I have. Ding, 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 ding. You're welcome, nice. America. Excellent you question. You are welcome. Excellent question. And I'm sorry, Robin, because Robin's like, this is way off the script. Yeah, yeah, it's we're like, not. What the 
<laughs> yeah. Stuff. We're not talking but, fitness yet. Okay, right? you know what? Give us, a, and I want you to slow down and yeah. give us some details on this uh, three way you had. <laughs> it's pretty vanilla, and it's, you know, it's kind of. Was so, so it was a white chick? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, a lot We've of people had that on the show before. Uh, let's get Peter yeah, yeah, yeah. on the phone. Um, okay, t- elaborate, please. Well, I think that kind of sums it up, doesn't it? Where were you? <laughs> and how did, how did it all go? On a set. <laughs> of course, <laughs> on set romances. <laughs> On set second, romances. I, I think, what? What? Yeah. What? 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 Oh, oh, that's cute. I need that, some water. They're as so in, cute, As man. in acting. They're so cute. They're <laughs> adorable, okay, but right. I think we're missing an opportunity here. That, uh, if you do the math, this one, this you she a did a drink, three-way. Like truth or dare. She did a that's three-way the only time. on the set yeah. making a movie. One can only assume... She's the working worst. in the valley, possibly, and, I, and, and possibly I'm going, Sherman Oaks, possibly Sherman Oaks, and possibly. Can I say this word on on, on our podcast? A porno. Oh come on! It was you actually know. a musical comedy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite well, the parody. Well, luck be a lady tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but in my own personal life. No, I'm really so you well, okay. Monogamous. Now I'm just by the, the information you're giving. Reality. So you actually got paid. To be okay. on set, to be in front of a camera, yes. making Come love on. to a woman and a man. Yes. That, my friends, is a good old-fashioned. Oh, her. I'm talking, oh, I'm, her. I'm, no, I was talking about Gary. Oh, sorry. It wasn't yeah. about you, Pat. Yeah, it was 1974. <laughs> <laughs> but in my personal life, no. Why not? Have it's, you ever... Okay, because so it's you're, making, you're making a film. I have my personal life. No, I'm You're sorry. making a film. Oh, you do it at work. So I guess you, you're saying you don't bring your work home with you. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is it weird to be making love on a set and going home on a date and making love to uh, a particular it's man. It's completely different. Is it? Yeah. Break the difference down. <laughs> I'll tell you what the difference is. Right in a nutshell. It's like oh, when like you're with show. somebody one-on-one. <laughs> nut, nutshell, yeah. nutsack, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, you know, when you're with someone one-on-one that you're very attracted to, there's like a, a bond and an intensity and an attraction. Right. And it's like you don't care how it looks. You're not thinking, hold your stomach in. You're not thinking, <laughs> put my foot in a certain position because it's a camera angle. You're not thinking about that. You're just really into what you're doing and you're present. Right. Plus, you and can get it like, over with real quick. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. You, know. I mean, you can watch Oprah. You, you have a real bond with the person. You can uh, get it over with can we super knock this quick. Down during a commercial yeah. break? Oh, look it's at the time. It's Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Okay, <laughs> you know something? <laughs> okay, we don't. Um, I, I, I don't understand the difference. But here's one thing that I think true Americans need to know, and it's um, it's not so medical, but it but is dental. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just call it oral. Let's call it oral. Okay. Fair Let's enough. Oral. Fair enough. Oh Lord. Let's say you're I, I love your I love your little gradualness of how you like get to this. It's not me, it's, it's, it's the public. It's really a skill, I'm it's telling not, you. It's not yeah. you are very skilled. Thank you. Thank you. We should get a camera. That's what his wife said. No, here's a serious question. Okay. Go ahead. What are you thinking when you're making these movies and you're doing your job and you're having sex with mm-hmm. the gentleman? Are you like, oh my god, did I put that on the grocery list? Mm-hmm. Did, and you, or can you have an orgasm on on camera? That's what you wanted to ask. That's why I know do, that's do, what everyone. Do wants you to know. act the orgasm, or do you really feel the orgasm? Have you had an orgasm? It's the camera? unsexy answer, but we're talking truth, and yeah. and the truth is. I'm a good actress, and so are a lot of people. Mm. Because in a very contrived situation, isn't that kind of hard to like feel? Totally. I mean, I usually you fake know? an orgasm. I, I'll usually. Like, but you do that when you're alone. Yeah. yeah, right. In a contrived <laughs> situation with it's this many weird. people. It's weird. I do it when room. I'm alone. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> well, you yeah. gotta act. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you know. Okay, so I find it. You, Extremely interesting, and, and uh, the the experiences that I have by meeting some uh, porno stars, they're very, very intelligent, mm-hmm. uh, great business women, right. and um, uh, are just normal. Normal. I, I, I hate, I hate like, to use that word. Hello. But, like, um, what are you she goes to the store. <laughs> she goes shopping. It's right. like it's a very brief time. You know, the phone rings, mm-hmm. an agency calls you. You show up. You do your job. There's a camaraderie on the set. We know we have a job to do, a product to make. It entertains other people. You walk out. You got your check. It's over. Now, how, how much of your life did that take? Right, but do you um, do you <laughs> see yourself? Hours? Is it? Do you like do uh, work with on. the same guy? Do you, do you know no, certain you actors? No, you never know. It's just like. Do you yeah, get to pick the guy? Consistently. No. It's like, you know, you're, you're booked. Here's who's here. That's it. Do you have a little post or a pre-production meeting? Like, hey. No. You are, you on Tinder, like, right? are you on Tinder? No. 
Yeah. You're sure. like, here's what it is. Here's what right. you're doing. Are you available this day? <laughs> Whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, so now, how do I get the, in touch? How do you know, get in? I feel sorry for uh, one time. I thought there was a good uh, job in, that I was hoping for. It was called Fluffer. And I've always wanted to be. You're the warm up guy. I am the warm up guy. You're the warm up guy. Yeah. Like. yeah. But I want to let you know I feel sorry for the fluffers because somebody yeah. invented um, Viagra. Yeah. And, you know, it, I've it never killed been the industry. On a set with a fluffer. Plus, I remember they did a background check on you and you yeah, didn't I would, come up quite yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Cold yeah. hands. Now, I could say plenty, but no. Not fit. <laughs> you know, and I, I want to talk to you about the Viagra thing. Are, are oh. men these days... Have, have you ever taken one? I took one, and it got stuck in my throat, and I woke <laughs> up with a stiff neck. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was coming. Uh, that was a good one. What the yeah, hell? Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's very funny. <laughs> Makes sense. But, but um, on a hard day of work... Do hard you know, day? <laughs> <laughs> All right, a semi-hard day. Yeah, right. I mean, then you I don't mean, get paid. Do you go home and then you know, maybe say hello to your man, like, oh, my God, it was so difficult at the office, and get, like, a bag of frozen peas? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you ice no, the thing really. down? After? I mean, I do. question. I do. question. After yeah. nine hours on the computer. No, not really. It's just like, whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good question. Uh. Are, you, um, are you still working? <laughs> yes. When was the last time you um, worked? Still working what time today? is it? <laughs> That's so cool. I don't believe we are talking to a beautiful woman about know, bikinis, and she just had it. Uh, she I'll just made a porno I'll this man. <laughs> like whatever. Uh, no, no, you stay. I, I know it's fascinating. It uh, is fascinating. Connected, but not in a weird or gross way. I, I'm just fascinated. No. I, I love pornography. But some people, you know, it's pr practically mainstream now. But the it's thing awesome. is, it's kind of like it's a very body conscious thing. Mm -hmm. And so, like, why not? You know, like, be more in health and fitness. Why not do things in an older age? I got into it in an right. older age. I'm an older age now. It's like, Andy. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Babs, and this is you why can I, reinvent yourself. I'm like transforming right. myself continuously. And, so. and Babs, I, I totally agree with you. And the reason why I did ask a series of questions because I wanted to bring it all full circle. Yes, this is a beautiful springboard to yes. you to debunk the stupidity thoughts yes, of a, a totally. porn star. And at the same time, you're driving forward to be a businesswoman and Absolutely. keeping people young, fit, Absolutely. in bikinis. So you're living two lives that are I merging am. together they that are. nobody has done that I've seen. Dude. That is true. Modern, it it all, the few it, people it all, that know it. It's a happy ending is what you're saying. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the few people that have figured it out say the exact same thing. But in the end, the message is the same. And I'll tell yeah. you what it is. It's like no matter what you have to do or no matter what you are doing at any age, you can do it at any age. You know what? You can do it. You can grow. You can evolve. You can still be a beautiful person, a fit person. You can have a life. You can do all those things. It doesn't matter where you started, and it doesn't matter when you start. That's right. That's yeah. it. And you, you just, know, there are no limits. That's right. It's what no, you think. Exactly. Yeah. The only limits are in your own head. There you, you can, go. You can, be, you can be a porn star at 61. You can rock it on stage in a bikini at 61, 73. You can write books. You can have people following you down the street and asking you, how in the world do you do it? And I think that's the message. Because if I had been known all this when I was younger, I would have saved myself countless hours mm -hmm. of grief just worrying what would happen when I got older. That's fantastic. And just thinking yeah. my yeah. life was over. And no, you know what? Exactly. It's just starting. Yeah. And I want other yeah. people to start. No disrespect, but I do yeah. have a semi one right now. Do you? Semi? There was a movement <laughs> yeah. in the proctoral area yeah, as Babs was the making region? eye contact with me and talking. In the are region? You, yeah, there was just a tingle. Me, were, you you able to, were you able to keep it up here, son? Yeah, yeah, were you yeah, able to keep it up here? Yeah, keep it up anywhere. Okay. Um, that's awesome. You're never too yeah. old. That's awesome. Never too it's soft. never too late. You know, and I don't, I don't want to drag this, uh, you know, this topic. But you know something? If my wife or girlfriend was a porno star, uh -huh. and I'm sitting at one at home, time or currently, currently, okay, and I'm sitting there like you know watching the ball game. <laughs> You know, watching the ball game, and uh, you know she goes to work, and she comes home, and the ball game's over, and I'm feeling a little frisky. Yeah. yeah. You know, do you make the moves on uh, your wife that's been in? You know. I think it, you go shower first. It's kind of like. <laughs> it's kind of like if your wife was an accountant, and she comes home from a long day of accounting. Right. Do you want to bring her into the kitchen and say, "Hey, let's go over our checkbook"? That's what my wife fucking does. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say this. I will say this. It's completely different. It's no. kind of like. You know, you went to work, you did your job, and then you come home, and then that's your time. You leave your work at work. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's your yeah. relationship. That's a whole other, a whole other yeah. thing. And I and I will say this that I, and like sometimes men have asked me, gee, how does 
how does a how does a guy get someone who's like a beautiful woman and especially now it's so trendy like beautiful older women mm -hmm. there's so many young guys i mean we have experiences we both do together and separately like young men are like oh my god and you're sitting there going well like you're in your 30s and you're like there's a zillion other like 20 30 year old women yeah. in this room they're and like you're younger than my us. kids and they're hitting on because me. they're it's thinking like, we're like amazing <laughs> but you know what the thing is it's like it's nice it is it nice. It is nice. And, yeah, it's yeah. Kind of, and it's kind of flattering. And it, it's kind of encouraging, too, at the same time, to know that you're appreciated, like, right. no matter what, like, at any age. And it's just not even about that anymore. Yeah. It's, it's not. not even, it's not even about that. You know age. what? We, I was thinking about the guy in Vegas when we were high yes. on top of the Rio. I was saying that's what flashed young, through my mind. really gorgeous guy yes, starts was. hitting on me. And uh, both of us, yes. actually, started with me when... It, and yeah, both of us. We're having like, such a good time. And then we started talking to him about health and fitness. And he and immediately he really, switched over and was so interested in what yes. we had to say. I remember that night. Then it got very intelligent. <laughs> I remember that night well, sudden. Abby. Yeah. yeah. But yeah and then he said, oh, my God, would, can, I, can I tell my girlfriend about your, your site? And I went, of course. Oh. And, we, and we get that can all I, the we get time. It all can I time. quaint their story to ours a little bit? Certainly. <laughs> I think when you get to be a certain age, Andy... People just want you to sort of blend into the background. That's the truth. Yes. Right? There's At no some blending. point. Because the new generation of, is coming. Yeah, you sort of pass blend. that, your shining star right. onto your children and everybody mm -hmm. else around you. However, life's not over. It's you not start a podcast. Soon 20,000 people a month are listening for God knows what reason. But exactly. they are. We're yep. entertaining. And now, we, and now look what, what's happening here. We're, we're spreading something right. yes and you know what? it's not our legs Don't and it's not our legs we are spreading something yes. well yeah, yeah. You know what? I'll, I'll tell you something it's, it's so interesting because we have so many young people that come up to us and go wow i want to be just like you when i grow up yeah. i mean we get that constantly we get the role models. all the time when we started doing it we thought we would do it for seniors and help seniors but, to mm. know and these, we're working with young, with young people, people. Are like, wow great. we want to do the right thing now so we yeah. can like be like you when we get there when we get what older. if they did like the so, um the biggest loser aarp division you know what, <laughs> you know what i'm saying and, yeah. and then you guys would be the trainers Right, and you he know, and, and then you get to the restaurant early. The blue plate or the bluebird special. <laughs> the bluebird. By the way, I'm starting a website called blueger. dot com. Blueger. Yeah, which that's is... blue hair cougars. Oh, I love it. Dot com. Blueger, I love it. Yeah, there and by go. the way, there will be a leaderboard oh. on my site. Uh -huh. Yeah, the more oh. hits you get, everyone gets to see. Oh. No way. Oh Babs has God. like 7,000 people <laughs> after it. Okay, all right. You well, know what, I, oh. what are the rules and regulations? Yeah. of uh, What's the definition of a, a blueger? How, what's the age bracket? Yeah. I would say um, age bracket would be 55 mm. plus. Then what's a MILF? Well, you know, that's debatable. I'm not going to do I'm, with I'm, how I'm, old I'm you cougar. are. Yeah, I know. No, I, I was yeah. off subject there. But the cougar. Cougar, what, I, go, cougar. I go 35 to 45. And milfs, too. Because it's yeah. like, and it's, gilfs. It's so funny because like <laughs> when, I first, when I first Dilfs. got into the business, Dilf. it was like, I got you. Oh, I like got you. Erica Lauren Milf. Okay, yeah. so like milf, but now I play a lot of <laughs> gilf parts that are like you know, like the like the granny, like the hot granny. You do you ever do like the one? Six and six I love seven. this one, where it's it's um, the slightly older woman is teaching the teenager, oh, like yeah. you know, yes, yes, yes. yeah. I like yeah. That. educate, stimulate. I like that. Like hello, Robin. I like that. In yeah. fact, yeah. like, I would like that. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> she just said she so would like that too. Because, like. Like everything I'm doing, it's just kind of like all coming together. And I never really, if I had only known this when I was younger, that I would have the career that I have now. Being older, I never would have seen it coming. But you know what? We're becoming a demographic of a lot of older people now. And we're yeah. going to live a long time. I had somebody tell me something today that was really interesting. That they had read that for like a lot of different reasons, that there are people on earth today alive that will live to be a thousand and beyond. It's like, wow. Oh, time out. Can you time. imagine? Wait, 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 wait Today? A I mean, we're looking at them right here. Today a perfect specimen of humanity. That will be alive Andy that Davey. long. Okay, because now. Because of technology and because of like replacing For parts. Real? And, like, <laughs> Everything will like be a... fake. There'll be robots. Damn. Who <laughs> wants you... to live to be a thousand? But you would. No. If, if you were enjoying life and you uh, kept I'm almost done now. Yeah, I'm going to check out. Yeah. Maybe. I think I peaked after this podcast. You know what? My mother lives with me. She's going to be 102 in September. It's true. It is very Today she went to her yoga class. Here. Yeah, I'm I'll tell telling, you what's going yeah, on with me right now. I just hit 53. I'm a surfer. You know that, Andy, up. right? Yeah. And I'm on the beach today. I got my surfboard, and, and the waves are huge. And the guy's like, go big or go home. I just fucking went home. Yeah, because <laughs> you, know you ain't saying? going big. 
I'm I'm done with yeah. that. Right? Because you ain't yeah. getting big. Well, I just went home. Come back. home with us. We'll, we'll oh, hello. Show Hang you how on to a get second. In shape. Get oh, Chuck, look at the time. Yeah. We got to wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> I know we got to wrap it up, but oh, I, I think we're just cheating, and I know I'm going backwards on this conversation, but we have not way. asked the um, the uh, orgasm. The ask the glow the, uh, question yeah, no, of no, the day? No, the <laughs> orgasm ratio in Babs' life off. Uh, you know, off camera. Off camera. Yeah. <laughs> so a woman like you who's fit, eating well, uh, <laughs> live, vibrant, what is it, the four vagina <laughs> could not be happier. How it's often does, do you stimulate yourself for, uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, that's, no, I'm asking for the people. It's a semi-professional so question. Too yes. busy. It is within podcast reason, yes. Andy. Yes. <laughs> what is the ratio? I mean, what ratio for like days per <laughs> orgasm. <laughs> oh, good lord! I never, I never thought about it, and it's too much math. I mean, before we came over here, we couldn't hardly <laughs> we figure, we out, we couldn't figure out the check. The check. <laughs> so it's like too much, too much math. But okay. let's just say that there's a, an extremely high success rate. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like Let's that. Let's just say we're batting. Is it yeah. is it is it okay to it's ask okay. post menopause or pre menopause? Yes, here? you know people have a have, yeah. Have let's a talk about the orgasm about pre and post. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. Mm. Most people tend to think just the opposite, and they think that pre oh you're young and you're wet and you're this and you're that. But I'm going to tell you when you're older and you're confident in yourself and yeah. you're confident in your life and you're confident in your body, it's kind of like. Wow. You love yourself. You, yeah. you, get well, the, you have the best ever. You know what it is? Because you're not thinking about stuff. No, you when you're younger. Help? Did you when, bring a, a, a toy? Would you help? Is there, is, is there something that can enhance the gasm faster? Because I know you're a busy woman. <laughs> a busy woman. Well, I'm not too busy <laughs> to do it with the real thing. Okay. All right, now I, I got to jump for I got a new favorite person. Yeah, I got yeah. my croc There was movement. Region. There was movement. There was movement in the croc region. Yeah. I think when you're yes. younger, you do it a lot. When you're older, you do it. It's quality. With quality. Quality, With quality right. and skill on and that technique note. and yeah. On that really? Yeah. Are we? Are we, are we at time? Yeah, we're there, there right, Andy? No way. It just seems we just got to start. I want to do it. It's over. because when it's feeling <laughs> good and you're doing it well, right, you know, time it's passes. <laughs> right, right. Uh, you're something like. Yeah, like a good podcast is like good sex. Mm. You don't want to hurry it. Yeah. Let it just That's finish. Right. It feels oh, like yeah. two minutes. Right. Let's go out with a big yeah. it, feels like, it always feels like two minutes. You're always in a hurry. And, <laughs> yeah. I have no you know idea what? Can I just say that these women, all three of them, them have been amazing. Thank you. And so happy you guys came. Yeah. We didn't, but yeah. thanks for inviting and us. Then, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she beat me to it. I know. We I know. She got you got it. Well, the way you quick, set that up. You got to be quick. <laughs> I've been <laughs> setting you fools up all night. Andy? <laughs> 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 and I love the fact I love the fact that you made Gary at times so uncomfortable that yeah. he had to go to Andy which he never goes to Andy <laughs> yeah, during yeah, any yeah, podcast nobody wants to talk to Andy <laughs> Andy has been mentioned more yeah. today than he has growing up <laughs> he's my sex therapist <laughs> Andy's my sex therapist I haven't taught you told no. you that yet I just repeat whatever you yeah. say <laughs> yeah. that's always bad Andy's never, never been more that. popular today in, in Gary's world alright so if the yeah. folks at home yeah, talk want to them. see you find you date you whatever they want to do <laughs> how would they locate well, you possible, but classic look bikini right there. Divas. Divas. Com. and that'll take you to my site to her site yeah, I have a personal website to too. YouTube everywhere, everywhere to our radio show yeah. and we also have a podcast and um, go ahead pitch it, up, pitch it all. that's what oh, we're here we for we don't know what it is Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we do. The blonde. Wait, Did you actually started? bring paperwork? No. Well, somebody yeah. just gave this to us. Why don't we, we have name new ways it? Let's name their podcast. Okay, the show right is now. available like on LA iTunes, radio show. Google Play, in the podcast, in the podcast section. section. Oh, I should have known that. Well done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just for our radio show, you can access it from classicbikinidivas.com. Right. You can do it from like a lot of different ways, and it's also right. downloadable from iTunes. Yeah. And now, you know, on the on the Google executive Play. producer. And we're about to yes. get our uh, uh, and, uh, television uh, show. So shout out to Robin. Shout out yes. to Robin Tab. But uh, Robin, come on, you have some more information. Oh yes, we're doing a billboard. We, we go. are. We're gonna a huge do a. One. We're gonna do a fundraiser for it, yes, so we, we can are. get a huge billboard. You won't and believe what this. You looks won't like. believe oh what our God. poster is. I mean, cars are gonna wreck. When yeah. See this because it's like <laughs> no. wow. we are very nice. funny are like, on one side funny, and on and the other the side one, we are like so we are drop hot. dead gorgeous. You can't even believe it. I mean, normally I masturbate while I drive anyway. So this is just I might this might end it all. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put the hazards on and stop in the middle of the street. I'm giving myself a tug. Give me a hold on. Yeah. 
<laughs> Look at these ladies. <laughs> yeah. the most dangerous intersection for ever. For Christ's sakes. So that, anyway. that is awesome. Um, you ladies have been nothing but a joy. And thanks Thank for you. us uh, thanks for letting yeah, the kids yeah. play. We, we got know, did we go out of the lines? You. Are you guys cool? No, you're yeah, great. you're fine. You're All right. Cool. All right. Because you know something. We love you. I, you know I'll hear it. From the boss. Yeah, yeah, you'll hear. Yeah, it. you know she'll she'll get back <laughs> to me. And there was a couple times I felt some heat coming up from the backside. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. You know, it was, that was me. Was I cut one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that was I me. Yeah. Had fun yeah. Robin's hot too. What can yeah. I say? Yeah, she is. She is it was indeed. fun. You guys are fun. Yeah, thank you. You were fun. fun. I hope thank you. Back, actually. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You you had Babs Wade. That's uh, rocking the age of 61. You have Saba Moore Doucette, that she is um, phenomenally hot at the age of like uh, 73. 73. 73. Damn. You know something? I, I'm having trouble with the 73 thing. Not because it's a number, because she's very close to my mom's age. And if I ever, like, you know, I, it's your mom, awkward. Your mom was. I can't say I mean, it. I don't want to say anything, but. Yeah. Mom's pretty hot. Well, you just said back it. in the day, no, my back in the day. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you guys have it. You know, if you if you if you're in the club, you like to call it the CBD Classic Bikini Divas Fan Club. Um, thank you for being here. You guys have been dialed in and tuned into One Degree of Chunky B on um, Chunky TV. Um, and I want to say all always thank you to Raleigh. 101.9 WKRP. We're doing a fundraiser right now. We want to stream around the world. So if you get this and you want to throw... Oh, and by the way, you're just not donating money. They're going to give you a hat. They're going to give you a bumper sticker. They're going to yeah. give you a t-shirt. And they're going to make you do stuff around the radio station. They're going to make you clean yeah. up around the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole thing. It's like a whole camp. Yeah. It's like a camp. Andy. All right. Awesome. On, radio on, camp. On behalf of the executive producer of Love, Gary Adler, and of course, uh, the Maminal. <laughs> the mammal <laughs> to these guys again and again. <laughs> Andy Davy always uh, coming in strong, and, and you've never been more popular than you um, you are right now. Uh, <laughs> thank you to the ladies. Thank you to Rob and Tap. You guys, we are one degree of Chunky B. Be real, be kind, be cool. We are D O N E. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>